hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel once more i hope you all are doing well by god's grace in today's video we are making makayabu which is salt fish in aubergine sauce back home we call it sauce blanche basically it's uh, a mix of peppers yellow green and red peppers with onions and some aubergine it's very quick and simple dish to realize yet <laughs> the beautiful parts mouth watering guys you gotta try this dish guys these are my ingredients i use two onions one whole paper of each color my two aubergine and the makaya boot which is the main dish of today it is well cleaned and um I soak it in water overnight just to reduce the amount of salt in the fish. That's the crucial part of this fish. Now I'm gonna fry the fish. Guys, guys, please, with this makayabu type of fish, do not fry it too long in the oil. If you leave the fish frying for so many minutes in the oil, it, it will become chewy. So with this one, it's just a minute, so it's pampa. One side, you flip over. One minute, you're done. If I have to be exact, about a minute on each side. Guys, I grated my aubergine. I'm gonna fry it first, because the aubergine takes time to cook properly. Then I'll add the rest of the ingredients. These two peppers, you can use it on any dish. It could be your meat, your chicken, uh, your fish. You just pour over and enjoy it. Now I'm going to pour the stew peppers on the fish, add small water, let it cook for about uh, 5 minutes because I just want the sauce and the fish to mix properly. Let it cook about 3 to 5 minutes, then it's done. We are good to eat. <laughs> But believe me guys, it was delicious with pap, kuanga, plantain, anything of your choice. Guys, I was so hungry and this dish was beautifully eaten. <laughs> believe me. And I enjoyed it with pap with some beans stew. Thank you. 
as always guys thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting the channel please like subscribe and share to your family and friends and please try the dish at your home let me know at the comment section below it's a good pie for me until we meet next time goodbye
hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel first of all i'd like to thank everyone for your support and especially to my new subscribers i know that i haven't been posting a video for a while because so much has happened but we thank god that we are still alive so in today's video i'd like to share with you how i quickly make spaghetti bolognese for my kids because they love it so much but I will share with you on a later stage another version on how I make uh, spaghetti bolognese. I hope you enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your family and friends. Let me know in the comment section below what you think.
and yes thank you so much guys for watching the video i hope you enjoy it from the beginning to the end and if you've got any question whatsoever please leave a comment at the comment section below i'll come back to you please don't forget to like and subscribe I have my garlic here, or oh, I, ginger, tangawis, four tomatoes, spring onion, one onion, one bell pepper, my canola oil, I have bisero kauka or dry fish, zombo, yes, and I have my fumbwa, the main ingredient of today, and the main ingredient as well which is peanut butter you can use any kind of peanut butter it's up to you i don't have any preference i will start by putting my oil while i blend my tomatoes uh, bell pepper ginger spring onion and garlic Let your blended uh, ingredient mix with your kumbo nicely. And then I'm going to add my dry fish or mbisa kumbo as we call it. Some people prefer this method and some prefer my old method. My, okay, not old, but my first method. It's solely depend on you. Which method would you like to use? Mix well, well. I'm going to put some salt. I'm going to let it boil for some time, and then from there, we'll check it again. As you can see, my fumwa is mixed well with the dry fish. 
Now I'm going to put the peanut butter. What is fumo without peanut butter? <laughs> Any Congolese will tell you. The secret of fumboa is peanut butter. That is the quantity depends on yourself. I like my fumboa with full of peanut butter. Give it a stir. to add more peanut butter as I said I like my fumba with peanut butter fumba without peanut butter mm, I don't know as you can see to add some water I put my heat on low. I'm gonna let my fumbo cook about 15 minutes, then we'll come to check on it. Guys, as you can see, the fumbo has been cooking. Remember, I told you the ingredient that I blended. I didn't put my onion yet, so I'm going to put my onion. I have blended it. We say back home fumbo tondi mabaku. My fumbo is done. This is amazing. It smells divine with kwanga fufu. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Portuguese they call it carapau. In French, I think they call it maquero. I'm not too sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong. 
my KO and uh, in English I'm not too sure we just call it fish but there are people who do not know how to clean it so I'm gonna show you today how I remove the inner stuff clean everything from head to the tail First of all, you remove this. You start here, as you can see. I'm going to remove the scale. As you can see how I started. Turn on the other side, as you can see here, we start where it ends here. Can you see? you need to put your thumb on top of it so that you can be able to control your knife and the steel itself please when you're cutting be gentle don't remove the skin of the fish do it lightly and be gentle to put my thumb as you can see it comes off by itself Open the head, you insert your finger inside, you pull everything out as you can see. Can you see this? So I'm going to pull out everything.
guys if you don't remove this blade thing when you're gonna cook your fish it's gonna it's gonna taste sour so it's better you remove it properly and wash it thoroughly i'll show you how to wash it hi guys welcome back to tasty makusa and today we are making fumboa a congolese vegetable with peanut butter this is just a part one there will be a part two coming as well please don't forget to like the video subscribe and share to your family and friends and also let me know of your thoughts regarding the video for the fumboa today i have one bell pepper one onion one prawn cube two fresh tomatoes um i have tomato paste as you can see guys normally i use the tomato paste in tin but i didn't have it today so i'm going to use 250 grams of of uh the sachet one but i'm gonna use one and a half of it a uh, baby hake three of them nicely clean fresh and then i have my peanut butter my oil and the main ingredient the fumboa
Now, guys, this is optional. I like boiling my fumbo first before um, start cooking it. I will boil this, throw the water, and then start with the clean water. But it depends from one person to the other. You know, um, most of this fumbo come from home, so when it comes, it comes with a lot of residue and stuff like that. So. Uh, to be on the safe side, I like boiling it first because some fumbo, when you cook it directly, it will turn to be sour. So you don't really want that. To be on the safe side, I like boiling it first. Throw the first water and start with the clean water. Just put enough water and you start with the clean water. Guys, remember I boiled the fish. I'm gonna use that water to cook uh, the fumboa. Mesh the fish and put inside the fumboa. I don't know how some people cook fumboa. The secret of fumboa is in peanut butter. If you want your fumboa to be fumbolicious, guys, add more peanut butter because fumboa is about peanut butter. Personally, I like my fumboa to drown in peanut butter. <laughs> That's how I like it. So fumboa without peanut butter, it's just leaves. I'm going to encourage or advise each and anyone watching this video when it comes to fumboa do not be afraid to add more and more peanut butter as you can see i have been adding until it become a little bit thicker that's how you want it because remember it still needs to boil and the peanut butter needs to cook so add the peanut butter as much as you can when it becomes a little bit thicker that's when you stop you add maybe one or two cups of water low heat and let it boil just one of my tips how i check that my peanut butter is enough i normally check it at the back of my wooden spoon when it sticks, then I will know that the peanut butter is enough. No more adding.
Ladies and gentlemen, remember to cook or to boil your fumboa on a very low heat. You want the peanut butter to cook and you do not want it to burn at the same time. So put it on a very low heat and forget about it. Let it cook until it is done. When do you know that your fumboa it is done? When the water reduces and the oil is floating above, that's when you know that the fumboa is done. I have my garlic here, or oh, I, ginger, tangawis, four tomatoes, spring onion, one onion, one bell pepper, my canola oil, I have bisero cauca or dry fish, zombo, yes, and I have my fumboa, the main ingredient of today, and the main ingredient as well which is peanut butter you can use any kind of peanut butter it's up to you i don't have any preference i'll start by putting my oil while i blend my tomatoes uh, bell pepper ginger spring onion and garlic Let your blended uh, ingredient mix with your fumo nicely. And then I'm going to add my dry fish or bisabo kauka as we call it. Some people prefer this method and some prefer my old method. My, okay, not old, but my first method. 
it's solely depend on you which method would you like to use mix well well I'm going to put some salt I'm gonna let it boil for some time and then from there we'll check it again As you can see, my fumboa is mixed well with the dry fish. Now I'm going to put the peanut butter. What is fumboa without peanut butter? <laughs> Any Congolese will tell you. The secret of fumboa is peanut butter. Guys, the quantity depends on yourself. I like my fumbo with full of peanut butter. Give it a stir. I'm going to add more peanut butter. As I said, I like my fumba with peanut butter. Fumba without peanut butter, mm, I don't know. As you can see, to add some water I put my heat on low. I'm gonna let my fumba cook about 15 minutes, then we'll come to check on it. Guys, as you can see, the fumba has been cooking. Remember, I told you the ingredient that I blended. I didn't put my onion yet, so I'm going to put my onion. I have blended it. back home fumbo is done this is 
amazing it smells divine with kwanga fufu oh my goodness oh my goodness hi guys welcome back to my channel to another exciting episode and today we are making hot chicken with mushrooms in peanut butter sauce without any further ado let's get Not started make. Benny powder you can stop prawns cube bay leaves white pepper garlic and ginger uh, spring onion onion green pepper I've got some mushroom here and the chicken i've got also uh, my three fresh tomatoes i'm gonna use just a bit of tomato paste and the peanut butter this is my peanut butter before starting with the cooking i will put a bit of everything just to get the spices combined well with the chicken meat I forgot to show you guys, I have some chicken spice here. Now I'm going to add some boiling water and let the chicken cook through. This is a hard chicken, so you want it to cook until tender. Make sure you add enough water until your chicken is really tender to your taste. Guys, this is how it looks like. My chicken is soft enough, as you can see. Now I'm going to fry it. I'm just going to cover to avoid oil splashing around. I'm going to use the same oil that I fried my chicken to collect all the flavors to make tomato sauce with. Mm -hmm. 
this are my blended ingredient i'm gonna let it fry a bit tomatoes are done now I'm going to pour into my chicken pot Adding my mushrooms. Please add the peanut butter to your liking. I don't want my sauce to be um drown in peanut butter so i'm just going to just add a um, small quantity not too much yeah. this is the last one I'm gonna reduce my heat on low and give it time to boil for about 30 minutes while checking constantly 